Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a cash stuffing video, so we're going to start with a quick cash count. Got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 6, 700 dollars. And I also just wanted to mention I did cash stuff a little bit prior in my gift envelope, but I forgot to film that. From this grocery envelope here, I have $25 left over for the month of September. So I'm going to pop that to the side and stuff it in some other envelopes after I reallocate the funds for October. I've also started a $5 challenge. So whenever I have $5 notes from my change out of that grocery budget envelope, I'm going to put the $5 notes in. So from that $25 roll over money from the grocery tab i'm actually going to take the five dollar note and start the five dollar challenge the rest of the funds i'm going to try and reallocate in some other envelopes in this binder so for groceries i try to aim for 150 dollars each week for myself and my partner and my pet food for my dog just bear in mind this envelope does not take into account any recreational expenses that we spend on the weekend so we've got 100 here that I'm going to pop aside for pet care. I actually have quite a stockpile left of food for my dog. So it's not necessary for me to get dog food in the next couple of months. But I like to have funds ready in that envelope. That way I can continue to stock up on dog food when it goes on sale since it is shelf stable. So I popped in, I think, 500 in the grocery and then I'm going to pop $100 in pet care. I do have about $75 left over in pet care from the previous month as well, but I'm going to get some of that Brevecto um, tablets for my dog just because it's spring and summer, there's more ticks and fleas and stuff. So I just get him that tablet just as a precaution and that's roughly about $75 for two tablets for a small dog. So... I'm going to top up that envelope and add in another $100 note. I also wanted to let you guys know, I will do this big cash stuffing once a month and then I'll probably do another update every two weeks to share with you guys um, with the status of my budget. Just bear in mind, in between, I may cash stuff other envelopes that aren't filmed. For example, I did cash stuff the gift envelope in the second binder but I didn't film that for you guys because I only cash stuffed one envelope so that's not really much content for you guys to see if I'm only cash stuffing one envelope and I also wanted to point out the five dollar challenge is only for grocery shopping so all these other envelopes that have five dollar notes in them they aren't going to be put into the five dollar challenge the toiletry one had five dollars left left over from September, and I'm gonna top it up with another one hundred dollars there for the month. That is. And now we're gonna start on reallocating the rollover. So as you can see, health. I've spent a bit of money from that because we had to get some cold and flu tablets. So I am probably going to put the rollover in there. But I'll just quickly show you guys some other categories I have in this binder as well. Fun money, I'm not currently stuffing because we're just pulling those funds straight from our cards. Um, that's like recreational expenses we have on the weekend. Maintenance, so things around the house that we need to replace. My plan to fill up these envelopes are to use the funds that I have left over from rollover for grocery shopping. Now, we, we do have funds available. Most of our savings go into... Um, a high interest savings account mine goes into my offset account that's why I don't cash stuff every single category I kind of try and challenge myself by using rollover funds for this but if something needs to be replaced in the house and I have nothing in this envelope we will be fine because I'll just pull it out of my online account now I'll just give you guys a quick overview of the second binder which is mainly my investment binder so investment property, I generally have $1,000 in cash. The rest, the rest stays in my online account. Accounting fees, self-love, I've spent quite a bit from. I think in my last video, you guys would have seen $300 and roughly about $200. And now I think I have about $120 in there. $50, $100, $125, sorry. That's how much I have left over in self-love. I haven't topped this envelope up yet though because I did top up my gift envelope and I don't think I recorded that bit because I topped up the gift envelope to $500 roughly over a course of time but because I was only filling up one envelope it wasn't worth filming for you guys. Thanks for watching.